Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, AJ, for hosting us. Thank you, Paul, for hosting us at the Ben Salem Farmers Market. This is our third stop on the Price of Poor Leadership Tour. And it's underscoring what the impact has been of these failed policies on our economy and on working families of Biden, Harris, and Casey. And I say Casey because he's voted 99% of the time for all these bad, bad policies. And it's hurting families, it's hurting small businesses, it's hurting seniors, it's hurting farmers. Yep. The list goes on and on. It's been devastating the last three and a half years for Pennsylvania. Because of this weak leadership, Pennsylvania families and small businesses across our Commonwealth are hurting. It's the message I hear wherever I go. I've done 400 stops across our Commonwealth this calendar year. It's the same message over and over again. And we've got these extreme liberal policies of Harris and Bob Casey to thank. Their reckless spending has pushed inflation prices, walk through here, through the roof. They've unleashed trillions of dollars, trillions with a T, of wasteful federal spending that's overstimulated our economy. That's what's driving up the prices at the pump, the prices here. They push this anti-energy agenda that's driven up cost of fuel, but it's also hurt energy jobs. Pennsylvania is blessed with this incredible natural gas resources and many other natural resources, and these anti-energy policies are hurting all of us, not just those in the energy sector. They've supported policies that have blocked economic mobility, the ability to get ahead. That is the American dream. The ability to buy a house, the ability to, to have a great job and get and more than get by. And they've showed weakness time and again in the face of China's economic warfare. China is not playing by the right rules, the same rules as we are, and it's hurting Pennsylvania families. And these terrible decisions sent the price of everyday living through the roof. Overall inflation, the overall rise in prices is more than 20%. Gas is up by almost 50%. Groceries are up by 22%. Rent is up by 23%. Now, we created a site just to help you see this. It's called Bobflation.com. And, uh, and I want you all to check out Bobflation.com, all right? It allows you to calculate how your lives have actually changed as a result of uh, of what Bob Casey and uh, Kamala Harris and, and Joe Biden have done. Now, I'll give you two examples. If you go in there and check, a six-inch shorty hoagie from Wawa, and I'm sure you've all seen the shorty hoagie from Wawa, $4 in 2019, it's $6.91 today, a 72% increase since Biden, Harris, and Casey came into office. Permani Brothers, any Pittsburgher knows Permani Brothers, well, they got the Pittsburgher and cheese, which was $7.49, in 2019, it's $10.29 in 2024, a 38% increase. This economic mismanagement, this failure of imagination is crushing Pennsylvanians, and we have to stop it. And you don't have to take my word for it. Today, you're going to hear from Pennsylvanians, not me, who are paying the price of poor leadership the poor leadership of Kamala Harris and the poor leadership of Bob Casey. And I promise you, God forbid, Kamala Harris wins the presidency and Bob Casey stays in office. It is only going to get worse. So first up, we have Paul Singh, uh, who uh, is, this is uh, his property with his fathers and they, they help manage this incredible Ben Salem Farmers Market since 2010. Thank you very much for hosting us here today. Let's give them all a hand. <laughs> Then we'll he hear from uh, Kim Kusadoris. Am I saying that right? Kucharadis. Sorry about that. She she okay. All right. Good. She runs Casanova's. He runs Casanova's uh, Kitchen, a second-generation family business that his family started when he immigrated from Greece. And Kim is also township supervisor for Lower Southampton. After that, we'll hear from Sarah Osaminski, a new mom who has a beautiful three-month-old, and uh, she'll speak to what the high cost of living is doing to families. And finally, we'll hear from my dear friend. We're honored to have her here with us today in Pennsylvania, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Kim Kutzeratis. Thank you for having me here today. Just a little bit about myself. I'm 53 years old. I know I look much younger. <laughs> Married. 
with three children. I'm also a very proud second generation business owner located one mile away from where we stand today, Casanova's Kitchen. As I stated, second generation. My father, God bless his soul, immigrated here from Greece to follow the American dream. As so many immigrants did, dad didn't come here for free handouts. Dad did not come, dad came here for the opportunities this country offered to everyone who put the hard work in so he could provide for his family. I think I can speak for so many small business owners that over the past years it's becoming more and more difficult to keep our heads above water. 30% increase in our utility bills, 40% increase in insurance. Let's not forget about what we all see at the supermarkets today. <clears throat> With me being in the restaurant business, food costs up 40 to 50% over the past few years. It's not even possible, not even possible for me to raise my prices to keep up with the increases. <clears throat> What's the answer? I know what the answer is not. The answer is not re-electing the same old failed leadership that we have in Washington today. We need strong leadership to represent us. We need a leader to focus on bringing back a strong economy so we can afford things like feeding our families, heating our homes, not having to struggle with what bills we're going to pay at the end of the month. We need a leader that understands small business and big business alike and will work with us so our businesses can grow and not to choke us out. Business owners are a pr proud, hard-working group of people looking for the same attributes in our leaders. That's why I can't think of a better person to send to Washington to represent us than this man here today, Dave McCormick. My name is Sarah Osminski. I'm the proud mother to a three-month-old baby boy. Um, he's currently at daycare. Um, I'm here because as a new mom, I have a whole host of new expenses, and families like mine are being crushed by the high cost of living. Child care alone costs are through the roof, with many families spending more than $12,000 per child per year in Pennsylvania. Baby food and formula prices rose 8.7% in one year alone, and that's on top of the gro cost of groceries prices going up. As a new mom, your body's a machine, and you need to be able to fuel it. I know this is not just affecting my family. Everyone we know is feeling the burden of high prices. How are we supposed to be able to afford a 50% increase in gas, 54% increase in egg prices, 17 increase in milk, and 22.6 increase in cereal? Families like mine are having to make choices every day. What can we live without? How can we make do with less when we can't do with less necessity? Pennsylvania has the highest grocery inflation rate in America. This is the price of poor leadership and terrible career politicians like Bob Casey are to blame. That's why I'm here and I'm proud to support Dave McCormick and encourage my fellow Pennsylvanians to elect him to the United States Senate. Dave is focused on lowering costs for families like mine and I'm proud to cast my vote for him. Thank you all so much for being here. It is uh, such an incredible opportunity to be here in Pennsylvania and campaign for my great friend Dave McCormick, somebody I've known a long time. Like Sarah, I understand the difficulties of being a parent. I have three kids, a 12-year-old, a 10, a 10-year-old, and a 9-year-old. And I know some of you said you couldn't hear her, but let me make her message really simple and really clear. It's hard enough to be a parent without people like Bob Casey and Harris and Walt pushing down terrible policies, making it even more difficult, making it more expensive, making it more challenging in every aspect of life. When you go to the grocery store, when you go to the gas pump, you feel it. And every family across America is feeling it right now. And that's why we need new leadership. That's why I'm here in Pennsylvania. You know, my, my kids are a permanent reminder of everything that is at stake in this country. I know that the decisions I make as governor and frankly the decisions that Dave will make as senator impact me a lot less than they will impact my kids. And that's why it's important for me to be here. You know, being governor can be a challenging job at times, and uh, in the fall of last year, I was sitting outside, my husband and I were enjoying a nice Friday night, it was a little bit quiet, sitting by the fire, my husband had a cigar in his hand, I had a glass of wine, please no one report that to my Southern Baptist <laughs> minister, father, but we're sitting there, and our youngest, George, walks up, and he said, he has this kind of look of just unhappiness, and he goes, Dad, you're smoking a cigar, and Mom, you're drinking a glass of wine? 
He goes, what's next? Cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> I think as we look around what's happening in the country, most Americans are asking, what's next? What are you going to put on our backs that we have to carry to the next day? If we allow Harris and Casey to be the leadership in Washington, I think we're going to continue to ask what's next. What else can they do to make our lives harder? That's why it is so important that we elect Dave. Not just because we want to change in policy, but because we need leadership that's not afraid to stand up for what's right. I know Dave is a fighter. I've seen it. He's somebody who actually believes in our country and was willing to put his own life on the line to defend it. Somebody who loves America so much that he was willing to serve in the military. But not just that. Dave's actually signed the front of a paycheck. He knows how hard it is to run a business, how hard it is to grow a business. There's a big difference between somebody who's actually done the work and somebody who talks about it. Casey's somebody who's talked about it and failed time and time again. I know that Dave will bring the leadership that our country needs and that actually stands for something that matters to each one of us. I'm so proud to be here to support him because it doesn't just impact Pennsylvania. This Senate race is one of the most important races in the entire country. This will determine who's in leadership in Washington. And I want it to be Dave McCormick because I know that he's not only going to have my kids in mind, but he's going to have yours and your grandkids as well. Dave is the exact fighter that our country needs at the time where we need it the very most. So I hope that you will make sure not only that you show up and vote, that you take your friends to vote too. Unless they say they're voting for somebody else, then you leave them at home. <laughs> <laughs> but we need all hands on deck here in Pennsylvania. The future of our country literally depends on what happens here, which means we got to get Dave McCormick in the U.S. Senate. Thank you for letting me be here today, and please make sure you get out and vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.